Hi, Dan here with Baker Hughes Inspection Technologies. And today I'd like to show you a few of the features of the USM Go uh, with respect to saving and restoring setup files. Okay, so one of the first things I'd like to show you, and it'll become clear a little bit later uh, how this is going to be useful. In addition to the setup files, I want to show you a little bit about programming the function keys, which are these two keys down in the lower uh, left corner. Uh, so let's first of all go to the back menus. Long press on the center stick to go to the back menus. And we are going to come over here to the config2 menu. Config2. And up here we can program the two function keys. Function 1, function 2. Okay, so we are going to go up here. And the first part of the function key is what happens when you give the key a quick pop. The second uh, line is what happens when you do a long hold. So you can program these functions by hitting the center stick, scrolling through the list of actions, and we're going to program the quick pop on function 2 to be the freeze, and then we can use the rocker key down here to select a function for the long hold. So we're going to set two functions on function 2. The quick pop is going to be freeze. The long hold is going to be recall data set. Okay. Now I can pop back out, back in, and we see those have been programmed. Okay. Back out. Now, let's say for instance I've gone through, I've set up my uh, instrument for a particular test. Um, in this case, I have a small delay tip probe. Um, I put that on a block. I've got my gate set to basically take a thickness reading on uh, SA. So under 90 thousandths. Let's say I'm happy with that setup and I want to save that setup. So in order to save a setup file, I go to the back menus. I go to the files menu. It's the leftmost menu. And I go up here. And the first thing I need to do is select the action as store data set. So I can change that action by doing center pop. I can store reports. I can store data sets. I'm, I'm going to choose to do a store data set. And I go up to file name. And I can scroll through a list of file names that are already on the card. In this case, I have several files on here already. Or I can do a new file, up and down to select a character. And let's just call this uh, oops, C A, and we'll call the file can. Let's make ourselves up a name here. So, right and left to select which character, up and down to, to pick a character for that position, center pop to get back out. Then we come down here and we hit enter. And we notice up in this corner there's a little icon of a uh, disk that's flashing and then there was a, me a message that popped up across the top to tell us that the, the file save had been uh, successful. Okay, so if we go back out, we have our setup. Uh, let's just change a few things so that we can tell things are, you know, we have a different setup than what we had before. Zero that out. So now our setup is quite a bit different. We can do a long hold to go back to the, the files menu in the back. We can do, uh, instead of store data set, we'll do recall data set. Select that as the action. Come up here to file name. We can scroll through the different files. Can was the file that we selected. Select that, you notice it automatically jumped down here to enter to speed things up for you a little bit. And when we select that, it goes back out, and now we're back to the same setup that we had before. 
except if you look carefully right here, the freeze icon, the little snowflake icon is showing. And when I try to take a measurement, you notice the signal doesn't change. That's because the instrument is in freeze mode. So we have to unfreeze that. Now, if you remember, we assigned uh, the quick pop on the function key to be freeze and unfreeze. So I give a quick pop on function two, and now I'm unfrozen. Okay. So again, we did the long hold, come back to the files menu, set our action as recall data set, pick the, the setup file, hit enter. Now that's a bit of a long way around the barn if we have several setups that we want to switch back and forth between. But if you remember, we assigned recall data set to be the long hold on the function key and the freeze uh, button is a quick pop. So just to make it more obvious what we did, we'll come back here and we'll change our setup a little bit. Throw that out. So completely different setup. Now, if I'm down here and I do a long hold in the function key, the recall dataset function brings up a list of all the stored files that are on my memory card. And I can navigate through the, the list of files with the up and down arrow. There's can that we saved earlier. Select that with the center pop. Can file loads. Again, we're in freeze mode. If I'm ready to go inspect, I give it a quick pop. Take us back out of freeze. Okay. So that's why on these back menus, the first thing we did was came to the config2 menu and set freeze and recall data set on our function key. Now, the assignment of that function key is one of the things that gets saved in the setup file. So we always want to come in, if we want to make use of these functions the way I've described here, come in and set these up, go back out, do the rest of your setup, get everything done and calibrated the way you want it to do the inspection, the way you want to save it. Do the long hold. Come to the files menu. Store data set. Give it the file name, enter, save your file. And you can have many different setups that you've saved. Come back out here, long hold to bring up the recall. Pick one of the setups, center click to select it. The file loads, you're in freeze mode, quick pop, unfrozen, and ready to go inspect. So thank you for watching. That is save and recall data sets on a USM Go. And again, I'm Dan for Baker Hughes Inspection Technology. Thank you for joining me.